All right, let's start talking some weather. Everybody 646 on a Thursday evening, December 16th. We are getting closer to Christmas and I have mentioned it a couple times in this show already. What about a white Christmas? Now we all know it's been windy today, so let's take a break from talking about wind. All right, let's go to the temperatures and get it closer to Christmas. This kind of looks like a Christmas color uh, ornament sort of a deal here, doesn't it? 39 the uh, high tomorrow. That's uh, temperature predicted to be above the average, which is 36. That's why the box is red. The box is gray on Saturday. That'll be the average 35 projecting the high at 35 and then below average on Sunday. The average still at 35. We're going with 34 back to 38 on Monday. These temps are not that bad, uh, folks. If you've been a native of Michigan over the years, you know it can be a lot worse than that this time of year and a big bullseye zone of way above normal temperatures. I mean, these temps in Texas, I got news for you. These are hot down in southern Texas over the next couple of weeks. We'll be on the northern periphery of where the above normal temperatures meet the below normal temperatures uh, and along that periphery there can be uh, storms that do move along. So we'll have to see how this plays out. I'd say more importantly, the sign of blue colors off to the north indicative of perhaps a fight that is going to take place between Arctic air and much warmer air down to the south once we approach the new year. So at which point uh, we get past January 1st, there could be some changes here in the pattern that lead us to, you know, more in the way of snow. We'll see about that as we go forward. 20 miles per hour sustained winds. Yes, with some gusts still around 30 in Grand Rapids. Gusts still around 40 uh, with the latest observation check in the Holland area. Temperatures, though, they're really not that bad in terms of what uh, you pull off of the thermometer. 37 GR, 39 Holland, 40s from South Haven and Benton Harbor. That's not that cold, but with the winds blowing around, yes, the wind chills, they are down into the upper 20s. The back edge to the winds, which are real substantial, the winds of consequence beginning to lift in from northern Illinois and northern Indiana. So once we get towards midnight and beyond, these winds winds will be a thing of the past. They will still be significant though. If you're headed out for dinner or doing whatever you're doing here over the next several hours, it's going to be a breezy Thursday evening. Peak winds off the chart 59 miles per hour from earlier this morning in Grand Rapids, 60 in Holland, 63 in Muskegon. As I mentioned in the first weather segment and as Candace Monticelli was telling you earlier, a reported wind gust there along the lakeshore, along the water at 353 this past morning of 79 miles per hour. Apparently that came in from the National Weather Service. Uh, that is extreme wind, but uh, more, I'd say, homogenous, uh, more what uh, the majority of the human beings were experiencing were the upper 50s to around 60 miles per hour with those peak wind gusts here on this Thursday earlier this morning, but still windy this afternoon. We had a wind gust of 53 miles per hour here, folks, right around 2 o'clock in Grand Rapids today. The clouds breaking up. We had a lot of those today from GR to Holland and northward, but going away at the current time, high pressure coming in for tomorrow. We'll get some sunshine, some energy down across East Texas. That's going to lift northward along the cold front that came through here earlier this morning. That cold front kind of buckling and coming back northward as a warm front and we'll track low pressure to our south Saturday. The northern edge of that will bring a few flurries and snow showers into the viewing area. As you'll see in a moment, this is tomorrow. Sunshine aplenty, just some passing high cirrus clouds that will thicken up into the evening. We'll take the model out through tomorrow. Uh, evening and overnight. This is early Saturday morning. Little spits and spatters of uh, white and purple colors. That's indicative of some scattered snow showers. Nothing more than a dusting or coating for folks, mainly south of uh, GR. And that seven day planner. Here it is. Yeah, it's chilly, but it's not that cold. No big storms right on through Wednesday and Thursday of next week. More news, folks, after the break.